device and your standard. Uh, I am aiming to actually show just how simple it is to build a seat out. So um, I'm going to bin those. Price, but you know, I saw reviews of this particular radio. Be still my beating heart. An air spy. And that is going to be sitting on my bench here, and it is going to be the companion receiver for my Mooncake transmitter and various other transmitters that I build. So plan is to use this AirSpy as a reliable receiver and I've been told it's really good so I'll be doing a review of that as well. And that's what this video is going to be about. This video is going to be about yay the AirSpy. But uh, I thought while I'm here I might as well show you the other stuff that's arrived. Um, this was an attenuator that I was going to use to test my Baofeng which will be in another video. And the OzQRP but the 40 meter version. So. We all know about this. I've done a, um, a great review on uh, this brilliant kit radio, Australian QRP kit. This is the 80 metre version. Um, I will now have a companion 40 metre version to sit next to it. And all the stuff you see on this table, videos on my channel about what's going on here. So, um, for this video, we're going to be having a look at the wonderful Air Spy Discovery. Might be a good idea to get it around the right way. The AirSpy Discovery High Performance HF VHF Receiver. The AirSpy. Now, I have done a review on, on the very cheap and very nasty Chinese version of this type of SDR receiver. Or not this version of it, but an SDR receiver that I bought for about $50. This thing costs a little bit more than that. But I've been told that the difference is chalk and cheese. So uh, here we have our um, a little QR code for accessing the software. I've already got that software on my, uh, on my laptop. And this is our wonderful AirSpy. Really nice uh, form factor on this device. And your standard um, connector there. TNC, I think it is, and uh, I've got a converter for that to make it BNC, so I'll be able to connect it to my antenna. But uh, yeah, the AirSpy Discovery, I'm very excited about getting this cranked up and operating. And I think in the in the box itself, uh, we have uh, a few other little goodies, obviously. Our USB cable to connect it to the PC. So hopefully, once this is all hooked up, we will have an operating receiver that will allow me to uh, build transmitters and have a reliable receiver. Now, it's, it seems to me that the simplest uh, part of uh, building a, a station is really uh, the transmitter, especially if you're working CW. So I am aiming to actually show just how simple it is to build a CW. Well, I've already um, got videos, so click the link um, below. And um, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. So this is a, a Spanish station presently, and we are on the 14 megahertz, 20 meter band. And like I was saying on my previous, unless someone tuning up and uh, scanning across the band, uh, on my previous radio, nothing, uh, 20 metres was dead all the time. And we are in the middle of the day, so 80 metres is pretty much a waste of time, but uh, the Wireless Institute of Australia Morse Beacon can also, the Wireless Institute of Australia Morse Beacon, uh, Morse Training Beacon can always be relied upon for a signal, and um, it's a good one. Golf Hotel on the group, VK2, Alpha Delta Alpha. Uh, VK2, Alpha Delta Alpha, 
CK2 Alpha Delta Alpha and the group CK1 Golf Hotel. Uh, good afternoon, Dave up at Penstock, Harry in Hobart Town, John uh, over in uh, Launceston, I think. Where the where that stuff thinking police, uh, the Prime Minister's escort vehicle uh, had an accident that was on the news and uh, quite a serious one. Uh, I don't, you know, no details released, but the four police officers in it were all injured. And here are some old timers uh, having a go on AM, which is interesting to see. And uh, good on them. Hey, it's not like the band's uh, jam packed with uh, stations, so why not chuck out a bit of carrier and a couple of extra uh, side bands? One extra side band. You need at least one. So, please understand, I am testing this Air Spy on probably the world's crappiest antenna. But watch this space, because we're going to fix that up. And uh, we've also had some problems with patch cords, etc, etc. But the difference between our um, SDR made in China and our Air Spy, beautiful Air Spy, uh, the difference is night and day. The uh, Chinese-made one got nothing on HF at all. Uh, whereas this thing, it's um, it was belting out on the 40-meter band, the 20-meter band. Uh, I do have a high noise floor and, and whatnot, and I haven't really put a lot of effort into trying to find out where all of that noise is coming from. Very low antenna, um, that's probably not helping. And I am still getting stuff on this receiver and I am very happy with its performance. So the next challenge will be, like I said, to mate it up with the, uh, with the transmitter and have a go at doing that. I was going to do that in this video, but we've run out of patch cords that we could rely upon because had I tried to uh, transmit through one of these, I probably would have blown the uh, final transistor in, in my rig and had the fun and games of having to replace that. It's probably lucky I've discovered that now because I probably would have blown up the finals in my OzQRP transmitter and I've already had to replace the final transistor in that when I was building it. So <laughs> that would have been a complete disaster. Please like and subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And sorry, it's terrible production values, etc., etc. But I am in the throes of trying to get through my third semester, first semester of second year of my engineering degree which is also part of this channel. And um, I am having those moments where you just feel like giving up. So I'm just trying to motivate myself. The only thing that's keeping me going is the fact that I just keep passing. And I said I'd stop when I fail something and I just don't seem to be able to fail. Although I am putting more of an effort into that failure now. So <laughs> hopefully it'll happen soon. This is a complete rant. So I'm sorry for that also. If things are not going my way, broken patch cords, I have no power in the shack. I've got power on the lights and whatnot, but uh, all the uh, power points in the shack are not working because we have a dud breaker in the circuit board, probably care of all the rain we've been having in Sydney lately, or maybe the rats that are living in the wall and munching on the cables. Who knows? I hope it's not that. I'll leave it at that, and um, we'll upload this video, do a quick and dirty edit on it, just so that I can keep that algorithm happening. I'd really like the subscriber base to grow. Um, Little spoiler alert too, I am working on a collaborative channel and um, you know, because this channel is too serious, 
So we're going to try and do something that's a little bit more fun and more about that when we're ready to disclose it. But I will be letting you know on this channel where that will be and the fun and games that shall ensue. Now, I know you're all thinking, where's the wig? Well, I can't find the wig. <laughs> I've lost it. But I will find it soon. Don't worry. It has not left the scene. Anyway, um, have a great night. Have a great evening. Have a great day. Whatever time of day it is that you're watching this video. And um, I'll see you in the next one.